She was recently cast in the Black Lightning spin-off Painkiller, but from the age of seven, she has graced our screens in a host of roles. She's been a dance squad leader in Honey 3, Dare to Dance, a widowed engineer dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder in Lost in Space, and a conflicted warrior mermaid, trying to make sense of humanity in Siren. Our guest today on Fast Five Questions is the truly talented actress, Sibongile Malambo. So, congrats on being cast in Painkiller. Like, <laughs> first and foremost, I'm not going to lie, I've been watching Black Lightning and then I haven't been up to speed on it in recent times. That uh, probably is a lot more up to speed on it. So, congrats on being cast in Painkiller. What okay. can you tell us about <laughs> my... What you need to ask? <laughs> well, thank you very much. Um... I unfortunately cannot tell you anything more than what is out there right now. Oh, so, um, you know, I'm obviously, I've been cast in the role of Maya. And um, I guess she's described as icy and mysterious and someone who um, you don't want to mess with. So... That's all I can tell you. <laughs> I can tell you this. Um, I think after seeing you in Siren, you are definitely able to portray somebody you don't want to mess with. Like, <laughs> like in Siren, she was terrifying six foot five guys, huge people. You can see that. It's just one look. That was, that, that, that was jumping that was on not... them. That was fun. So, okay. Since you can't to, to tell us much about this, I mm. guess we need to just. Because it's new, new. That just came out this week. Yes. Yeah, true. and Sibongile, uh, to give you an idea on how geek minds work, I saw that word icy, and I've been googling every superhero in DC that's got ice powers. That's literally how our mind works. <laughs> so and I, I found nothing. <laughs> no, no, no. Icy has nothing to do with ice powers. Okay. okay. If you speak to any of, if you speak to any of my exes, I'm sure they can let you know about. How I can be icy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, this is you jumping into the DC world. Um, I guess we would have. I know. I can't believe it. I know. Congrats on that again. <laughs> we are all wondering, though, like, you know, today it's Marvel, DC, that whole dynamic of which universe a person would love to be in. But, you know, if you had your pick, which, what Marvel and DC characters would you have loved to play like prior to this casting, I guess? Oh, man. I would have loved to be one of the um, Dora Mlache. Definitely. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> but you know what? See? I was too short. I was too short to be cast as that. You had to be at least 5'7 and up. Oh. Ooh, oh. Tapo, I see you. <laughs> yeah, I'm representing. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I didn't know there was a requirement. Oh, that's all. I, that I, I didn't realize. You have to be tall. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So you wouldn't have minded like shaving off all your hair? You know, I've done it before. <laughs> I've done it before, so I have faith that I would probably do it again. Yeah, I would have completely. I would have done it. Yeah. Well, it, uh, well, let's not even lie. Like, you would have killed it, I got to say, because you definitely <laughs> strike with that athletic, um, you know, persona and type. Mm -hmm. but, Looking yeah. at it. I mean, let's be let's be very clear though. Um, that role, there's there seemed to be a lot of people who wanted to go up for it, right? The Dora Milahe role. There was a number of guys. I remember reading different people, and then you stumble across somebody who's done some work in the industry, a stunts person, and they were all just going in that direction. It seemed to open up a lot of opportunities. Um, Let me tell you, every black person I know <laughs> wants to audition for that movie, okay? <laughs> <laughs> And what about DC? Like before you got this role, was there any DC character in the past you thought, if I could, I would? I, you know, to be honest with you, I, the comic book world is something that I'm still exploring. It's something that I didn't really, I don't have a lot of knowledge about. So I'm still learning. So I wouldn't know who. I vixen. This much. I think you would have made a great Vixen. Yeah. Yep. Oh, thank yep. you. Yep. Thank you. Okay, then I have to have to Google yeah. Vixen. I have to she's, Google she's Vixen. She's tailor made for that role. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because okay, Vixen actually okay. is African too. Mm -hmm. like Vixen is an oh. African character as well. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, 
that's so that, that's not uh, you know we, we we can't wait to see what Maya ends up being and, and <laughs> ends up doing on screen. So again, congrats on that. Thank um, you. you are somebody who you will travel, right? Both for work and as a person, you've done quite a bit of traveling. Uh, how mm -hmm. many languages do you speak? And are you like awesome at accents? Like 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 what's what's uh yeah. Well, um, I speak English, obviously. Um, Shauna from Zimbabwe. Um, French and Spanish. I'm not fluent in French and Spanish, but you know, I can read it, I can write it, I can have conversations, I can watch TV. Um, so what is that, four so far? So far, and then, yeah. I, and then very basic, like, greetings, Zulu and Kosa. Oh, wow. And that's it. So I, I like to say maybe four and a half, or just four, really. That's, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, so if we yeah. get you in as a vixen in DC, then that means Shana becomes the official language of Zambesi in yeah. DC. Just like that. And vixen speaks French. Mm -hmm. Oh, she does? Yes, she does. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. I need to research vixen. Yeah, yeah you, you'd love it. It's a good character. Yeah, she even has like the vixen pendant on right now. Oh, uh, does she? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh perfect! Rep in Africa. Call it, so, calling it in. Yeah, all the joy, they draw that energy in. Um, next question. So, um, as a professional actress, who mm. are your biggest influences? Like, who are your biggest influences in your career so far? Um, Lupita Nyong'o, definitely. Um, because seeing her, like when she won the Oscar, I was still based in South Africa and I had actually kind of given up on getting to the States, you know, but seeing her win was like, it was, you know, it was like, oh my God, there is, there's space for us. There's space for people yeah. like us, you know? And so that was a big motivating factor for me to, um, come back to the States and, um, Danai Gurira, um, Tandy Newton, um, <laughs> Clinton, I think is incredible, Andy Serkis, uh, a bunch of people. Um, yeah. I am a little surprised you mentioned Andy Serkis, but we'll get to that. <laughs> have you met any of these people? I was going to ask that. Like no. have you met You're kidding. I haven't met any of these people. Where would I meet them? Um, you know, maybe one day we'll be on the same set, you know, or at the same party once, you know, people are allowed to mingle like that. Right. But um, no, I haven't met these people. I oh, wow. I just assumed you, assume, assume you were hanging out with Luputa every night and you know, partying yeah. now. Or at least the night. <laughs> or at least the night. Yeah, at least, you know, you think the night, you think she's, she's from Zimbabwe. Right? Yeah, 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 she is. And you think at some point, maybe your paths crossed or something, you never know. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I think at some point they will cross, um, you know, as my career grows, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. So, next question. Um, why acting? And if not acting, what would you have been doing? Um, I think acting because... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm an introvert extrovert, you know, and I can be shy. So acting is that thing that challenges me. It challenges me every time. And it's also something that I know I will never learn it 100%, right? So there'll always be something to learn. Um, uh, yeah, so it's just that thing that will always challenge me. And it also, as much as, you know, it's bringing entertainment to other people, it's also very th therapeutic for me. And it pushes me to come out of myself. And um, yeah, and you get to travel and meet people and um, you get to play, you know, it's that make believe. So you don't really have to grow up. <laughs> so, you know, the more you play, the better you, you are at it. So I'm actually just learning to, let go and um have a good time i can tell you you're speaking to guys who are fully invested in not growing up so yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. we love our passions and we want those passions to be as eternal as we hope to live one day hopefully that's that's all of us in dreams but hey honestly thanks for jumping on fast five questions this was a blast 
No problem. Sibongli Malambo, everybody. Hi, I'm Sibongli Malambo, and this is Fast Five Questions. 